Well, there is an easy answer to that, which is common goals, openness, mutual trust. This holds for any partnership, but uh, I want to make it a bit more specific because uh, there is something specific about an NOC-IOC relationship. NOCs are the keeper of the national resources of, of uh, the, their country, so they play a very political and long-term role. So it helps if also the IOC have a long-term view. We do have that, for example, we like to go in ventures uh, at an early phase, at an exploration phase, and work with the NOC through the whole lifetime of an asset. We have done this very successfully, for example, in Egypt, where we are working together with EJPC for more than 30 years now. The second important ingredient is technology, so there must be a, a synergy between the uh, technological requirements of an NOC and any given asset and what the IOC can bring to the table. One example there where we have successfully managed this was uh, transferring shallow water experience from the German offshore to Turkmenistan, where we are currently carrying out a seismic campaign. What IOCs need in return is a uh, stable fiscal regime. Uh, we are going in those countries with uh, sometimes heavy investments, uh, high risks, and of course we need uh, stability such that we can really rely on, uh, on a long-term outcome for our business. I do see two trends which will be very important for how we go into the future. One trend is the growing concern of the general uh, public for environmental protection and safe operations. Uh, so it's not just regulation that are becoming heavier, it is really the, uh, the approach by everybody that our industry has to be environmentally sound and safe. Uh, we have been working on that very proactively and, and we th think we can add to that equation. We, we operate in a national heritage uh, area in Germany and also export this knowledge uh, to other countries. The second trend I see is the uh, changing energy situation in many countries. So one thing is uh, the importance of gas compared to oil, which is a growing trend, I believe. Uh, and uh, whereas the, the uh, value chain of oil is more interruptible, for gas it is not. So the companies have to bring their full value chain into the equation. And again, uh, we at RWE can do this with our sister companies. What we also see, of course, is uh, growing economies, especially in Africa, growing energy demands. So what else is required in the future, I believe, is that more than just oil and gas uh, will be uh, looked after. Uh, so uh, again, uh, RWE can help with uh, uh, engineering support for uh, electricity generation also on the renewable sector. We are partner of the Desert Tech Initiative, for example, and we see in our discussions with NOCs, especially in North Africa, that also the NOCs are picking up this issue of renewable energies much more in the future. And I think those, those two, environment and energy, will be the trends of the future. Okay. Well, I'm here to meet other IOCs as well as NOCs. Of course, this is a forum where views can be exchanged, where trends can be picked up early. Uh, so I hope that I can, first of all, contribute, of course, from, from our perspective, what RWE DARE can do in, in the relationship between NOCs and IOCs, but I also want to pick up from, from colleagues new trends that may evolve over the next time.